Hello, Angie Gerber here, and welcome to my podcast, Awareness. Once you know, you can't unknow. A place you can come to start thinking and shifting your thoughts to finally create the results you truly, truly desire. It'll shift your mindset and give you strategies to get out there and get it done. Let's get started. Hello. Today I wanted to talk about a few different things. I was just listening to um, Arash Vasugi, one of Bob Proctor's prodigies. Uh, He worked with him for 14 years before Bob passed away. And he was talking about filling in the gaps. And it got me to thinking, so we're almost midway through February. And I want you to think back to about a month and a half ago, when it was New Year's Eve, and we had that feeling inside where we get to start a new beginning, people are setting goals, maybe making New Year's resolutions, you had um, just this energy about what is it going to be? Who do I want to become? What do I truly, really want? And is 2023 going to be my year? Heck yeah, hell yeah, it's going to be my year and we're all fired up and ready to go. And think back, did you write your goals down? Did you have a plan? And where are you at today? You know, so many people are so excited at the beginning of the year. And by now, you know, a month to two months in, a lot is the same. Not much has changed. So what do you do when you're back to where you were? Or, you know, how do you fill in the gaps? How do we really get get these goals and get to where we want to go? I tell all my clients, this is truly, it is a lifestyle. This is not a six month program. Um, Thinking and results is not something that you do when you feel like it and you don't when you don't. I mean, this is something that you're committed to every day. Every day is day one. You get up and you recommit like it's day one, like it's New Year's Day and you're starting again. And it's with that energy, it's with that tenacity, it's with that drive that you want to show up every day. And in order to do that, your goal has got to be big. It's got to be worthy of you. It's got to get you excited. You have got to want it more than anything. You've got to make an irrevocable decision and determination that it will be yours. And it is already done. You just have to hook to it. So how do you start filling in the gaps? You know, get from where you are to truly where you want to be. Well, first, you really got to know, what do you really want? And again, want is the only prerequisite. You don't need to know how you're going to get it. You've got to have the burning desire, the want. You know, if you ask 100 people what their goal is and what they really want, 95% of them can't tell you. And the 5% that can usually just let it go because they can't see it. And they don't understand how it's going to happen. And they're letting their current results dictate their feelings, how they're showing up, what their thoughts are. They're not in the right vibration to hook to the right frequency, because they're living from the outside in versus the inside out. And because of all of that, and because of not knowing how it's going to happen, people let their goals go. You know, so what what does goal setting really look like? You know, you want to come from the essence of who you are. If you have a want or desire, it came from the depth of you, of inside of you. It's what you want. So if you want it, it can happen. You have to decide what you want and set a goal. And then from that goal, you need to build a picture so that you can connect to it every day, multiple times a day, be able to go to that place in your mind of the picture of it already done. And you need to make an irrevocable committed decision. Meaning that 
it is already done. And you are going to do whatever it takes, whatever you need to do to get it, to get there. You need to focus on how you can do it, not all the reasons you can't. Now, the goal achievement process. So many people start living and they get these goals and they start on the path and it's not showing up quick enough. Or they're letting, again, their bank account, they're letting their current results, they're letting how, how they're feeling in today. Um, that's how they're feeling. And then that's going to dictate what they get because that's the vibration they're in. It's a really a vicious circle. So one of the things you can do to fill in the gap is really work on your attitude. Your attitude is a combination of your thoughts, your feelings, and your actions. You have an attitude towards everything. You have an attitude towards this podcast. You have an attitude towards your friends, your family, your work, you know, the meeting you have to go to tonight, or if you're volunteering, you know, if you're made to do something, you know, if you're volunteering to do something versus made to do something, you can probably agree with me that your attitude towards those two things are very different. So the beautiful thing is, is that you can choose your attitude. You know, think and feel and act from the goal already achieved. The person you want to be or the person you need to be in order to get this goal. Every morning when you wake up and you recommit to day one of your goal, recommit to it like it is day one. Think and feel and act from the goal already achieved. From the person you will become once it's achieved. Who is that person? How do they show up? What does their morning routine look like? It's an opportunity gap to fill it and not let your outside control your inside, your results. Who do you need to surround yourself with? What type of things do you need to be reading? Where do you go? What do you do? What time do you get up? Not living from the outside in, living from the inside out. When you put a thought out into the universe, you are impressing it on your subconscious as well which means when you impress your thoughts over and over on your subconscious, this is how you'll feel. And most all of our results, about 96 to 80, 98% of our results, our perceptions and our behaviors come from our subconscious. It's the powerhouse. And what you're thinking and what you're impressing And what you're putting out, the universe will boomerang back to you. So that is why thinking into results is so very important because it starts with your thinking. And once you change your thinking, your vibration will change. And in changing your vibration, your actions will change. Therefore, your results will change. We need to give ourselves a command and stick to it. You need to make the choice to change your attitude, which will change your vibration and get you onto the frequency of your goal already achieved. Discipline. Discipline is key. It's key to controlling your attitude. You have to start with discipline, again, making the irrevocable decision that you are going to do whatever it takes Say yes to what you need to. Say no to what will not get you towards your goal. And really, really put this first. And thinking is the cause. Whatever's going on around on the outside is the effect. Thinking will be the cause. And whatever goes around on the outside is the effect. 
So again, what do you really want? Number one, two, attitude. Attitude is a combination of your thoughts, feelings, and actions. What type of attitude do you have? And what attitude do you need in order to get your goal? The consistent, relentless discipline. Because discipline, my friend, equals freedom. The more disciplined you can be, the quicker freedom will come. Think, feel, and act from the goal already achieved. All day, every day. Express your results already done. Alter your image, your attitude, your discipline. And you'll get effortless success. And it all starts with our thinking. Lifestyle, it's a change. And it's a change that you will, you'll fight your paradigms every day. I say it all the time. And Bob Proctor said it all the time. You will fight your paradigms till the day you leave this earth. Every day, you'll have that voice. You take one one paradigm, one habitual habit at a time, and you replace it with what you want and take out what you don't want, and the next one will pop up. Go through the same thinking to results process. You take care of that one, replace it with what you want, get rid of what you don't want, and another one will pop up. Same process, take care of it, another one will pop up. Same process, again, over and over and over and over again. That is why this is a lifestyle change. This is not a six-month program that you get through it and you're graduating, you're done, and you're on to the next. This is a mind shift. This is, to me, a lot of what mindset means. And when I hear so many coaches and people and programs and people throwing around mindset, you know, it's just, it's just like, what is mindset? And that actually came up in a call earlier this week where we were talking about mindset. And um, the woman was like, yeah, you know, the leadership at this company, they kept saying, I said, well, what does mindset mean to you? And they just kept going around circles. They couldn't answer the question because most people that use the word mindset at such a high level and all the time and run programs around it and trainings around it and hoopla all around mindset can't even explain to them what to themselves what it means. More or less someone that asks them, what, what do you mean? What do you mean? And it's just a circle. So I just... I just dove into it. I'm like, mindset. And that's kind of like the stick figure. I went over that in um, probably one of the first podcasts. So I can can do it again coming up again. But it's where your subconscious mind and your conscious mind and how they work. And that's where mindset comes in because it's through your thoughts and through your thinking that you create this mindset, which kind of in talking about this today, could be correlated to attitude very closely. Attitude and mindset, a lot of those, you know, those two things are a lot alike, your thoughts, feelings, and action. So I implore you to think about mindset. You know, when someone says the buzzword mindset, what what do you think? What does that mean to you? You know, what is your mindset? I would love to hear feedback on it because I know that it's just it's just coming up so much lately around me and the conversations I'm having. And I think it's just really, really interesting. And I know so many people are kind of in a funky place. They're in a funk right now because, you know, we come off this new year, we're all ready to rock and roll and nothing's happening or it's taking too long or it's just... Life gets in the way and life gets in the way because we're not disciplined to let it not get in the way because we haven't made the determined, irrevocable, not going to happen, you know, just relentless decision that this is going to be the year. And we let our habitual behavior, our habitual habits and our paradigm sneak right back in. And we'll go right back to where we are. 2023 will be much like 2022 unless you make the change. Because nothing changes if nothing 
changes. And that is why the self-help industry is a billions of dollars industry. Billions and billions and billions of dollars. I like to refer to it as shelf help. You buy a book, you put it on your shelf. Shelf help. You have all these books and programs and different things, and they all scratch the surface compared to thinking into results. At least in my opinion, because I I went on that journey. I spent tons of money, tons of time. I learned a lot. You will learn. You will learn from all of it. What I found is you'll get about 20% of what you could be getting because the program will work. You'll get some change, but until you apply it, you get a mentor or a coach that can help you get the results that you truly desire and take you up to the 50,000 foot view versus the 5,000 foot view that you're stuck at, nothing changes if nothing changes. So what automatic habits that you have every day. Work on one of them this week. Take one habit that you want to shift away from or that you want to put in place of or that you want to start doing. And I'm telling you, start where you're at. Don't go from zero to 100. Go from zero one to five or 10. You know, I'd love for you to have a quantum leap. Don't get me wrong. I'd love to see the 200, 500% increase. It doesn't have to start there. Start where you're at and take one habit this week and decide what you're going to do and wake up every day and make the commitment to it again and understand that it's through that discipline, the consistency of getting these habitual habits under control, that's where the freedom comes. And that's where the beauty lies. And ask for it and own it and know if you think of it, if you can think it up, and if you have that want, that want came from inside of you, deep inside of you. It's the essence of who you are. So it can become. There's a process. Thinking into results. There's a way to do this. And uh, I'm product of the product. I'm living proof. Every year I set my goals and I make them. I have no idea how it's going to happen. And yet it happens year after year after year. Because once you understand this, and you you play in this playground in this world and you know that this is this is all here it's for the taking you just have to plug in and play beauty just sheer beauty so thanks for spending some time with me today and if you like what you heard feel free to share like subscribe follow Do whatever it is you do. I'd love to get this out to as many people as possible because it truly all does start with awareness. Once you know, you cannot unknow and it changes everything. And of course, if I can help in any way, I'm here and happy to do so. Until next time, make it a good one.